trying a new thing out today that I'm calling Cap Facts That A Lie, where I am going to name three facts about Captain America, and you have to say which one of them is untrue. One, Steve's first love interest was a Nazi agent. Two, only one person has ever been picked by Steve Rogers to replace him as Captain America. And three, Steve's middle name is Jordan. Give you a second to decide. Now, depending on how much you know about Captain America, you may say that number three, the fact about Steve's middle name being Jordan, is untrue. But the reality is I tricked you all because can we really say any of these are true? I got this comment on a recent video and, you know, this commenter was respectful about it, but I've gotten this a few other times. Most of the time, they're less respectful than this, so I'm glad this guy was nice. But there's the question of, you know, can we really call these facts when they're about a fictional character? And it's a question I can't solve. There's a whole field of philosophy surrounding this. It's called ontology. And particularly, there's a lot of people who debate the ontology of fictional characters, whether they actually exist in some capacity. Now, I'm inclined to say there is some level of existence towards fictional characters because there's going to be parts that feel wrong to say. For example, if one of my questions at the beginning were to be saying that Steve Rogers has red hair and green eyes, I think everyone would disagree with that because that's not the truth we're presented in the narrative, even though he's a fictional character. And we've seen it when certain storylines happen, like when Steve was Hydra for that run. And a lot of people get really upset, and say, upset saying that's not my Steve. And like, again, it's a fictional character, but there's a sense of realness to them. Another point that was brought up on the Captain America comic book podcast was by a philosopher named Mark White, who wrote this book, The Virtues of Captain America, which is a really good read. I recommend it. And he was asked this question on the podcast. And his answer was that, you know, these characters may not be real, but they affect people. So they may not be physical, tangible people, but people have changed their lives based on what this character does and said. Like, I know I've been affected by stuff that Captain America says in the comics. Sure, that was done by a writer, and I get it through the medium of comics, so you could go through a convoluted, say, convoluted method to say that that's the person affecting me, not Captain America. But in the end, it's the lens I'm receiving it through. And I think about what would Cap do in certain situations to live my life in a way that I think is better. And, you know, to me, that gives them a sense of reality. So, of course, I'm not going to be able to settle the debate of whether fictional characters are real or not. But I guess to me, they are. Again, no hate towards that commenter. They were very nice. And I've actually been wanting to talk about this for a while. So they gave me the opportunity.